What up, what up, what up, bitches? It's Thursday, and you already know what time it is, honey. It's scandal time. It's your boy Alexis Maurice, so go ahead, pour yourself a glass of wine, honey. Tonight, we drinking on some cheap shit. We drinking on that oak leaf white ziv. Um, put up some lipstick. Pull up a chair, honey. And let's discuss tonight's episode of Miss Scandal, honey. More catalyst bull. Before we start, though, let me go ahead and get a sip of my wine. While I'm getting a sip of my wine, go ahead and push that like button at the bottom of this video. And make sure you retweet it, share it, Instagram it. Do whatever you got to do, honey. Because the bitch is trying to come up. I'm trying to come all the way up. What tonight's episode, the name of tonight's episode, Miss Shonda Rhyme, should have been gag. Because, honey, gag, gag, gag. Y'all was gagging bitches left and right all night tonight. So let's go ahead and get started. First gag order tonight was Papa Pope. Papa Pope would sit down there to the restaurant with his little boo thing, his daughter, his princess, Miss Olivia Pope. Miss Olivia Pope was not here for that, honey. She was not checking for her daddy today. She was sitting there. Listen, let's just go ahead. Let's get this over with. You pay for this meal so I can go on about my business. I got things to do. Or whatever. Papa Pope was all smiling. He was like, you know, you haven't accused me. Then Livy got to open up her damn mouth, child. She told me, I'm tired of you making my friends kill. Talking about Hulk. You need to leave my friends Hulk. And you need to leave my friends Jake alone. Or whatever. My mama taught me to be brave and outspoken. And then, it, uh, gag. Papa Pope had to say, let me tell you something right now. This braveness, this outspokenness, all the stuff that you got, Olivia, you ain't getting them characteristics from your mama's side of the family. You got that from your daddy's side of the family, honey. I gave you all that. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't be brave and you wouldn't be outspoken. It all, all your characteristics on that bitch, I own you. Okay, you get that from me. Now, what she did get from her mama's side of the family probably was her whole tendencies. That's what she probably inherited from her mama's side of the family. And child come to find out. Fitz done shot damn Olivia Mama playing down up there in New Zealand, honey. I can't wait to next week's episode till we find out what was going on. Because all we know, Remington had to do something up there with New Zealand. Fitz ass wasn't where he was supposed to be, where he was. He was up there, power, 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 shooting him up. Shooting up um that plane, whatever Olivia Mama um was on up there in New Zealand. And now Hulk and Jake done found out they done gone on over to the apartment and tell Olivia that child Fitz done killed your damn mama. What you gonna do, girl? Shonda Rhimes, that's a nasty old twist you putting up in that story if come to find out that the love of her life Fitz done killed her damn mama. Child, that's a twist from hell with that. That is a twist from hell. Child, that's some good wine here. Cheap stuff. But anyway, so, you know, Remington, shit starting to pick up with Remington or whatever. Fitz left ball uh, done drop or whatever. When he, you know, he trying to feel like a man. He trying to feel like a man in power. Uh, but you know what? Before I move on. Who y'all think should play Mama Pope? Now, hopefully, Shonda Rhimes will give us some flashbacks. Now, y'all know um, Papa Pope is Byron when he used to play on A Different World. How cool would it be if they get Jasmine Guy or oh, Whitley, Whitley Gilbert, to play Mama Pope? Child, that would be some shit if they get. But who y'all think should play Mama Pope? Y'all write it down on the comment and let me know who y'all think should play Mama Pope. But anywho, Fitz left ball. You know, Fitz, tr Fitz trying to grow some balls this season. So his left ball drop when he called over to Papa Pope and was like, you know, Jake is looking into this. We need to stop this shit. Now, Papa Pope was, I mean, Papa Pope was like, listen, don't call me with that shit, Fitz, okay? Don't test me. You don't work. I don't work for you. And you don't work for me. I don't take no orders from you or anybody else from your office. Gag. Like Papa Pope, y'all, Papa Pope ain't nothing to play with, honey. He don't he be serving me, gagging these bitches left and right. Don't call my damn phone no more, Fitz. Click. Then click. He don't take um um Papa Pope, B16, no, they don't take no orders from the judicial branch, the executive branch, and the legislative branch. They need to let me know what um what branch of government they need, what they work for, because we need to get them to fix this, you know, whatever this whole shit, what was going on with the government shut down all the things and kind of level out. But anywho, Fitz right ball drop. He feeling like a man. He called Cyrus and was like, you know, he go over to Cyrus. We need to go ahead and shut B16 up. Just shut Cyrus. Bring your ass. Bring 
bend your ass over here. Bend your ass over. You know how your parents talk when they mad at you and they talking through their teeth like this and they pinching you when you in the damn grocery store because your ass done put your hand on something that you weren't supposed to over there. They just pinching and turning. That's what's the bring your ass over here, Fitz. Don't you ever let me hear you talk about shutting some damn B-16 down. They'll kill all our damn asses up in this damn White House. Them bitches will blow up the White House. They ain't care. They don't care who in the damn White House or whatever. He was like, listen, the last president that was looking into B-16 and talking about shutting shit down was Kennedy. And you see what his ass said in the words of fucking Dineva. Child, he was dead to the damn grass and all down there because he was trying to shut B-16 down. At the end of the day, the federal government funds B-16, but they don't answer to no damn body. And Fitz, if you don't want to be dead to the damn ground or dead to the White House or dead to Olivia Bad, you better make sure your ass stay away from B-16 and don't be talking about shutting them down no damn more. But um, Hulk said two things when it comes to Iceland. Two things is a coincidence, honey, but three things at the same damn time. That's a damn conspiracy. And Remington is a conspiracy. And all hell is going to break loose when Olivia find out that her mama was killed up there in that damn plane. Olivia mama probably was something deep into the damn government too and she ain't got no, she ain't had no idea who her mama was or what her mama did. But I know Papa Pope killed her. But since we talk about Olivia, let's, let's go and talk about this little secret bat phone she got to the damn president or whatever, some little outdated flip phone or whatever she done threw into the damn trash can. She going out to a burger, going out for a burger with Jake and then she came her ass back to the office drunk off some damn wine stressed out because she ain't hear from Fitz he ain't calling the damn phone and then ring-a-ling-a-ling ring-a-ling-a-ling the phone rang and her ass jumped on the damn floor digging through the motherfucking trash can to get that phone and answer that phone you called me she her ass thirsty that was a real thirst you know what President Fitz must got that good, good, honey, because Olivia is sprung. She's sprung completely out her ass digging in trash on the damn floor, desperate on the side of the damn table or whatever, talking to Fitz, trying to get them damn jokes written and proofread and all kinds of stuff like that. Olivia, you need to sit your ass down. That was a bad moment for black women, single black women across the damn nation. And like I said, Olivia must inherit them whole genes from her mama. Because her mama probably was a hoe. Because I don't know. She get the bold, the brave and the outspoken stuff from her daddy. But we don't know where she get this whole tendencies from. She maybe get them from her mama. Or whatever. But child, Miss Olivia Pope was giving me life in that damn dress, honey. Them titties was sitting. And she was walking. And as she was walking, the dress was moving in the opposite direction, honey. And she had a old nasty little swoop to the side of her face. With an old school French roll back into the back of that damn hair. Child, I ain't no damn French roll in about 15, 20 years. But Olivia Pope had an old nasty old French roll back there to the to the back. Or whatever. She using Jake to get into the damn correspondence dinner. And then she get the little text or something with a little man nodding for her to come. She thought she was gonna go get a piece of fixed cock that night before he went up there and started telling them jokes. But honey, when she walked into that room, Millie said, Bitches, it's me. It's me. It's Millie, bitch. But you know what? Gag. That's exactly what Melly did. She gagged Olivia ass. Olivia looked so disappointed when she walked into that damn room. But let me pause for a moment. Because you know what? At the end of the day, I feel really sorry for Melly. I do. I feel really sorry for her because she loves her husband. She really do love her husband. But she came to the realization that her husband is not checking for her. He don't want no more of her box. He don't want to kiss on her titties. He don't want to kiss on her neck. No more romantic dinners. All he wants is Olivia. And so I know it was really hard for her to break down and tell Olivia that my husband needs you. He's dead without you. He's not living. He's not breathing. Bitch, I need you to come back and run this campaign. Come back and run this campaign. Because they had asked Olio. Cyrus and her had asked Olio to, um, you know, for him to run the campaign when he was up there in the Oval Office. But he said, look, Fix got marriage problems. He got penis problems. His wife is a frigid shrew. He looks unhappy. 
and he need to get laid or whatever. Obviously, you know, you and your your wife ain't doing that in that order. Listen, I ain't got time to be worrying about no I ain't got time to be running no campaign for no damn losers. And at the end of the day, only reason y'all got y'all asking me because Olivia Pope, y'all done cut ties and messed up shit with her or whatever. So at the end of the day, no. I ain't got time to be um running no damn campaign for no losing candidate or whatever. But child Millie had to break down. Millie had to break down. And ask Olivia to come back and run that campaign. Or whatever the case may be. And Abby. I wonder who Abby husband is. Do y'all think Abby husband is Leo? Or whatever. Because whoever he was. He was at the correspondence dinner. And I'm pretty sure Shonda Rhimes and all her glory. Had to show us some kind of video. Or sneak peek. Or something like that of him. I wonder is Leo Abby's ex-husband. You remember, the, you remember from back in the day they said um, her ex-husband used to be her ass or whatever. Because I was wondering, and, and that's another gag that was from tonight too. When David was calling Abby, she's sitting up in the office you know, chat, type, type, putting in her damn timesheet or whatever from the week when she was working overtime down there in Montana. Fooling up with Josephine ass. I'll get to that in a minute. Or whatever. She's sitting in there putting in her timesheet. Yeah, I'm still in Montana, child. And David walking in through the door. Boom. Dad. Bitch, you ain't in no damn Montana. You right here. You right here. You ain't had to lie to me. If you ain't want to come, all you had to tell me is you ain't want to come. But she ain't want to come because her ex-husband that used to beat her ass was down there to the correspondence dinner or whatever the case may be. So, hopefully we'll find out who her husband is sometime later on this season, honey. But let's get into Miss Josephine. Send it to a congresswoman, Josephine, honey. She's running for president. You know, Olivia Pope down there searching for a job, honey, because them eviction letters is on Olivia Pope's and Associates building or whatever. We got to pay the rent. I ain't got no job. So let me go and campaign myself. Let me go sell myself, honey. Let me go prostitute or whatever. She want to be hot as Josie's campaign manager. Campaign. Um, Josie said, listen, I really don't need a campaign manager. What I need is a fixer. Honey, I starred in the original 15 and Pregnant on MTV back in 1990 or whatever the case may be. I was 15 and Pregnant. I got knocked up by the man with the big old um, yellow pickup truck. I thought he was cute. He looked at me. He bat my eyes. Honey, he bought me a corn dog after the damn football game. And he, I let him hit it. And I got pregnant with Candy, which actually um, is my sister. But she's really my daughter. Child, white trash. It's some really trashy shit or whatever the case may be. But she had looked, um, Senator Congresswoman Joseph looked at um, Olivia. She said, listen, I had a baby when I was 15. You heard my problem. Now get your ass out there and fix it. You hire or whatever the case may be. So she sent them damn gladiators down there or to Red Springs, honey, and Abby and Harrison gagged the hell out of old Cyrus, old bitch boy. Or whatever. He thought he had shit all lined up. And what's what's um her whole old boyfriend's name? Billy Joe, Billy Cyrus, Billy Joe Hanson, whatever the hell his name is. He's sitting there all suited up, about to get on there and spill that girl tea or whatever. But um Abby and Harrison saw that shit. Abby, go out there and stall, bitch boy. Let me handle him. You get on the phone, you call him. Da 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 Charm of Billy Ray, Billy Ray Silas, whatever the hell his name is. He be having his little hookups or whatever. And child bitch boy said, Cyrus, we done got poked honey olivia and her team them poked us so shout out to them damn gladiators for this episode now i will say this i will say this that gun that queen ass bought while she was down there in montana watch that gun it's gonna come back and it's gonna play a role in killing somebody and i personally feel queen in ass is gonna end up killing papa pope that gun is going to kill Papa Pope. It's going to come play into something later on this season. You watch what I tell you now. You watch exactly what I tell you. But child, Josie got up on that damn... When she was at down into the debate, they done the gladiators and done their research, child. Done gag, bitch boy. Come to find out that um, mom, um, Josie's mama Louise, child, she done kept that damn baby... And then call the baby Candy and all kind of names. And now she, her, you know, Candy think that the congresswoman is her damn um, sister. But in, in all actuality, it's her mama. And child, she got up there and told the damn world, yes, I had a baby. I was 15, dumb, and stupid. Or whatever. And she told the truth. Cyrus thought he was going to gag her ass. But at the end of the day, he she gagged him. Or whatever. Olivia told him something, you did great. 
I want to live, live in. Bitch, please, whatever. And at the end of the day, your ass is fired. Get out of my damn face. But she came back because she knew Olivia is the right woman for the job, honey. So we'll see what happens on next week's episode. It's getting good, honey. And it's we in November sweeps right now. And you know how scandal goes off sometime in December. The bitch don't come back on until January or February or whatever the case can be. But this is turning out to be a good season, honey. I cannot wait to see what this whole Remington operation is all about. But let me go ahead and finish my glass of wine. I'll catch y'all bitches later. Bye, y'all.